You know, computer, I was thinking about, you know, a good redesign for me. But the way you are is perfectly fine. Yeah, but why be all perfectly fine when I can just ruin it? You got a point. Yeah, it's what my idol, Sonic the Hedgehog, taught me. Jesus. Sonic the Hedgehog has many things. He has that 90s personality, some remarkable games, some truly terrible games, and a design that's honestly pretty good. It's just a design that works. I mean, yeah, he doesn't look at all like a hedgehog, but damn it, it's close enough for the internet to give it a thumbs up. But seriously, Sonic's design screams 90s, and when drawing him, you just have a good time. But as good as his design is, it has changed over the years, for better and for worse. So why not go through the history of Sonic redesigns and just talk about them? Because I want to. Fuck you. Sonic is as complex as his designs. When things are starting to fit and feel right, Sega feels the name to change it. So we got designs that have very minor changes and designs with very big changes. And you know, with the whole Sonic movie debacle going on, I thought it was a right time to discuss this. But like, you're kind of late on this. No, I'm not. But you kind of are. Nope. But I don't think people care about it anyway. Anyway, let's go back in time to the 1990s. Ah, the 90s. Such a... Such a time period that I just wasn't born into. Who was born into it, however, was the blue rat that plagued Demian Art. Sonic was actually part of a contest to find Sega a mascot that would rival the old man Mario. Yuji Naka, the father of Sonic, drew this, and it's clear that Sonic was very much thought through from the start. He had a style that was similar to Monopoly Mouse, Mickey Mouse, and his shoes were inspired by both Michael Jackson and Santa Claus, because, you know, that's just, that's just the fucking dream team right there. But yeah, it's clear that in these drawings, Sonic was meant to have that spunkin' attitude of a 15-year-old who just doesn't listen to his parents. What was meant to happen now was to translate this into a 16-bit machine and, you know, kind of make it into a... make it into a game. Ah, uh, the Genesis. I didn't have you in my collection growing up, but I'd be stupid to say that you're not a console with a good library of games. And one of those games happened to be Sonic's first rushed out adventure. While I can go on and talk about this game and how poor it actually is, we're here to talk about the design of our blue fuckboy here. You see, the design Yuji Naka made were translated quite well to the box art. Sonic looks pretty much the same from those drawings, and wait a minute, this is the Japanese box art. I meant to look at the American release. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what happened here, but Sonic just looks different, and not in the best way. My theory is that they were trying to give Sonic a bit more attitude, and while I see it, I just think the Japanese art is more Sonic-like. But hey, let's just stop, let's stop fucking around, alright? Let's see how Sonic actually translated into the realm of 16-bit. He looks really cute. Come on, look at him! Most of his attitude comes out from the timeout animations, but just looking at him, you don't really get that vibe. Looking at any other animation, Sonic just looks a bit cutesy. However, comparing this sprite to the original drawings, you can see that Sonic is Sonic. The red shoes, the blue spines, the white gloves, it's all there. They even kept this sprite for Sonic 2 and actually changed the blue a bit, but for Sonic 3 and Knuckles, they changed the sprite and made it actually better. You're telling me that Sega made a change to something and it was good? No, 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 no. I, I, I can't believe that, no. Where are you going? I need to process this, I just, I, I, I can't. This new sprite for Sonic is just so much better. For one, the character doesn't look so flat. Sonic has some depth to him, letting you see more of him. Secondly, Sonic has some attitude. You just see it within him. He has that determination that would make Sans cry. <sighs> it's 2019 and I just made an Undertale reference. But yeah, Sonic has a strong 2D design that could last him for a long time, except that it didn't! because 2D was out and 3D was in, bitch! Everybody already knows Sonic's terrible and confusing process of him jumping from 2D to 3D, but you may be thinking that the next design we're gonna look at is this one, but in fact, it's not. In fact, Sonic's design coming into the 3D realm was a little bit complicated. And by complicated, I mean turn a 2D into a 3D. Some definitely look better than others, but hey, it's all suffering from the same problem. They made Sonic look cute again. None of them have the attitude Sonic is known for, or at least was designed for. The most that has that is the Sonic Jam model, and that just looks the cutest too. None of these are inherently bad though, they all look like Sonic. Very poor versions of Sonic. 3D Blast has a terrible Sonic model. But Sega knew Sonic wasn't working out in the 3D space with this old design, so they decided to make some major changes. They did a little of this. And somehow we got this. Now, you can call me a stupid adventure-loving whore, but I really like this design. Sonic has attitude. I mean, just look at his shit-eating grin. He knew he was all the rage back then. All the artworks for the adventure games just do such a good job of showing off who Sonic is without really saying much. The actual games, however, did a terrible job. I mean, they lack any animation or detailed design work, but to show Sonic's hipness, they decided to give him a voice. Oh, yeah! This is happening! I mean, it kind of worked. 
To me, Sonic sounds like that edgy teen who just plays a band that takes place in his mother's basement, so I'd say it got the job done. Of course, with each new entry, Sonic's voice just started to sound better and better, with the heroes honestly being the best he had. No more playing around! You're mine! Catch me if you can! So energized, just with the right amount of spunk. I don't know why, why do I keep saying spunk? The 3D models kept changing too, adding more color and just overall being more vibrant. So of course, Sega would stick to this high energy vibrant Sonic that works so well to keep a well-established consistent character. They didn't do that. I mean, the Sonic Advance titles did kind of do that with the artwork and the sprites. They basically took the adventure artwork and turned into a 2D sprite. And it's honestly the best sprite we have for Sonic. But the 3D games, on the other hand... Oh no! <sighs> it's so bad. This, this is so bad. And the problem with it is that I can't even say exactly why it's bad. It's practically the same as the adventure style, just elongated. He's so lanky and his quills are just long as shit. His eyes, his, his fucking eyes just pure my soul, both in the game and on the cover. I, it just like, wh why does it make me feel so scared? Ah, get that shit away from me! What's probably the worst offense is that they changed Sonic's voice when it was just so good in the last game. Like, seriously, why the fuck did they do that? I'm, I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, this shit actually makes me mad when I think about it. Sonic was energized, full of excitement, and had attitude. This game, however... Ah, that's a pretty snazzy performance there. Uh, what the hell was that? He sounds so... bored. Just, like, relax, like he doesn't give a shit. This is obviously due to poor directing, but damn, this is just not good. Plus, blending Sonic into a photorealistic environment is just not good. Ever. It should never be done, ever. Sonic just looks bad. So, for the next game, they just fucking changed everything. Like, everything. This right here. This is Sonic. He has the attitude, he has the speed, and he isn't so goddamn lanky as shit, thank god! They shrunk his proportions while keeping the lanky design of Adventure. It's basically if you made the Adventure artwork in 3D and made Sonic a bit older, and it just works well. They even kept the same voice actor, and he sounds way better. Well, this is new. Showing remorse, Eggman? If you played nice, I wouldn't have to break all your toys. It sounds like his old voice, but with Jason Griffith's own spin to it, and honestly, it's my preferred voice. So with Sonic's model fitting his voice and, well, looking the part, it's clear that they wouldn't change anything for the next major release, and this is fucking Sega we're talking about. You know that they didn't do that. Sonic Colors Sonic looks the same, because it is the same. But one thing changes. Baldy nose hair! I fucking hate Roger Craig Smith. Okay, that might be a little too hard. She's just not my preferred Sonic. He sounds like an old guy trying to sound young, and it's just... It just sounds a little pathetic and sad. He's gotten better over the years, but he tries too hard to be all cool and edgy. <laughs> I may be 28 years old, but I still got my bands in my mother's basement. That, that's what that's what he sounds like. But Roger is good at voicing one type of Sonic, and that type involves a lot of sports tape. Look, Sonic Boom was a horrible game. The TV show was a different story, but Sonic in both adaptations was done fairly well. It's truly an updated design that makes Sonic feel a bit more modern, and yeah, he has a lot of sports tape just wrapped on him, but in a way, it makes sense. Sonic's always running fast, and I don't know about you, but I had a shoe or glove slip away from my greasy body regions from time to time, so Sonic just half-ass taping them all together really makes sense. It's very much in character for him. Plus, the smaller details like the blue arms and tiny spines are changes that are welcome because they don't really change what made Sonic designed iconic to begin with. This version of Sonic is actually well written for Roger, making the voice fit for this Sonic. And even with all the changes at the end of the day, it's still Sonic the Hedgehog. Honestly, if Sonic Boom wasn't hot garbage, we might have seen this new design be the default. And you know what? I would not have been mad at that. But yeah, Sonic was designed right for TV. And well, as you may have heard of, he was also designed for a big Hollywood movie. And from what I heard, the design is actually pretty good. It's a new version of Sonic that fits well for the movie. You're joking, right? No, I'm being serious. What? You know the design you're talking about was actually a change from the original. Well, what did the original look like? Oh, God! What is that? That's not okay! What did he do to him? You know, I keep trying to convince myself that this was just a fever dream and it never happened. But here we are looking at this image that was officially from the Sonic the Hedgehog movie and just w what the fuck. Let's get the obvious thing out of the way. This just does not look like Sonic. He has human teeth for God's sake! Sonic the Hedgehog has one thing that's just really rememberable and that's, you know, his eyes are connected with two pupils and it's also the fact that you're never supposed to actually take him as a hedgehog! That's not a thing you're supposed to take seriously! 
Ah! The games have kind of forgotten that whole thing up to this point, so to make the attempt to make Sonic look realistic is just wrong. This still doesn't look like a hedgehog. Sure, you got the classic spines and the peach belly, but those eyes! Ah! First of all, they are way too saturated, so it doesn't blend well into the desaturated environments. Secondly, they're too small! Yeah, I can understand wanting to separate the eyes for the movie where he is placed into the real world, but he's still a cartoon character. They really just took away everything that made Sonic iconic. The eyes, the gloves, the shoes. Everybody knows! Oh, Sonic shoes, why give him generic ass Pumbas? But honestly, I'm just saying what everyone else has stated before. It's a bad design for Sonic. Luckily, the studio listened and we got this instead. Hey, that's pretty good. First of all, he looks like Sonic. Second of all, he looks like Sonic! I love this design because, yeah, while it kind of goes against some standards of Sonic design tropes, it also did really well considering what they had to do, and they made him look like fucking Sonic, thank god. The eyes are still separated, but they were done in a way to where I can still see him as one big eyeball from time to time. He gave Sonic back his gloves and even gave him shoes that closely resemble Sonic's iconic fo footwear. Foot- Footwear. Foot- wear footwear plus the design has the advantage of not looking completely awkward when moving unlike the last one plus the voice just fits this one way better seriously the last one was very stiff and didn't really fit the voice actor too well this one feels more like sonic he looks more like sonic and by extension sounds like sonic too i mean just look at him dance Th that's just that just feels right but fixing the design doesn't mean that the movie will be any good or have good CGI in all places, like seriously look at this shot, it's just, it's honestly terrible. But yeah, Sonic hasn't really changed too much in terms of his design. I mean, yeah, when he left the Genesis era, there were some major changes, but both designs felt very similar, so he never really changed who he was, Sonic was always still Sonic. You know, for the longest time, I thought it was impossible to make a Sonic design bad, whether fan creation or official creation, but lo and behold, the movie proved me wrong. But at the same time, it also proved me right, as the new design, while it is way better in many areas, it also borrowed from the old design a bit. But yeah, listen, nothing will be as bad as that first design we got for the movie. And you know, I, w I wish I can just have it wiped from my memory. I can do that for you. You know, I usually wouldn't trust you with this kind of stuff, but I'll take it seeing as I want to bleach my eyes at the moment. Okay, hold still. Wait, wait, this isn't gonna hurt, is it? Ay you know, computer, I was thinking of a redesign for me.